Should we change the music to <laughs> No Sleep <laughs> to Brooklyn? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right? You, know? you control the music. That could be the rejoin every that segment. That could always be it. Yeah. All righty, guys. Well, according to Chris Haynes, who's with Yahoo Sports, Kevin Durant has the Phoenix Suns listed as a preferred trade destination. And for what it's worth, Adrian Wojnarowski just tweeted, Phoenix and Miami are among two of the teams that Kevin Durant has on his wish list. So here we go. Yeah, there it is. We had this conversation a couple weeks ago. You know, you have James Jones, who sort of learned what he knows now as a GM from Pat Riley and Eric Spolstra. Uh, Miami's going to be all in on Kevin Durant, I would assume, if Kevin Durant says... It doesn't matter. It does. (laughs) It's going to be the Suns or the Heat, I think. And this is going to be a real interesting bidding war. Yeah, come on. Shmimmy Butler. You can have Devin Booker and whoever's left on the team after they trade everything for Kevin Durant. KD said it himself. Devin Booker is a savant. He did say that. He did. He's been a Devin Booker fan. I remember hearing him talk about Booker like five or six years ago on podcast. We drafted him first among the All-Star Reserves for the All-Star Game. We need to make a list of all these signs that Kevin Durant's definitely coming to Phoenix. Let's just put that right there. Sorry, there I totally go. stepped on you, Max. What do you no. think about this? <laughs> no, it's it's all good. L- listen, this is a job of a fill-in. I'm a filler, so I am fine with No, I, I, I love the idea of it. I mean, it, it changes the complexion of how you do this. Now, my mind goes to how do we make it work? Who has to go to make room for KD. You know, that's the first thing that I think of. And you think of Cam Johnson being at the top of that list. Um, you know, is it Mikhail Bridges? You know. That's it, the one name where I'm like, Ugh, does it have to be Mikhail? I, but I think when you're thinking KD, like you're going to have to get somebody who is a really good starter for so your it, squad that's going to have to have to be traded out. Here's the thing. You... you my this is not a hesitation, but my only like thing to just be aware of is if you trade everybody and it's just Booker, Chris Paul, and Kevin Durant, you may still very well win. You the can title. go into the big three with Ice Cube, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and win it all. But you you <laughs> better be able to fill out the roster around those guys. It would ideally you could keep Cam or Mikel, one of them. Like I said, just pile on the first round picks. You're going all in anyway. What we need is for Miami to gracefully bow out of the bidding war that's about to happen. Just be like, look, you guys. You won some titles with LeBron. Here, let's just make and the case. Wade. If you're Kevin Durant, do you really want to go be in LeBron's shadow in no. Miami? No. no. You want to beat LeBron That's in the right. Western Conference That's Finals. That's right. You want to beat the Warriors. Say, oh, it wasn't because I was there that we won a championship. It was because of Steph? No. Exactly. Because of me, and I'm about to put the dagger in you. And then also, you probably wouldn't play the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. you probably play them at an intramural game at a retirement home. They're yeah. not the making they're it going. out of the playing play tournament. In. Yeah, um, and then if they make that. <laughs> also, I did want to add, Jeremy Schnell did just message me saying the Heat cannot include Bam in a trade to Brooklyn unless Ben Simmons is traded as well because Simmons and Bam are both on their second deal after their rookie deal, and you can't trade for two of those on your team. <laughs> oh, nice. well, well, well. There we go. Ben Simmons has screwed Sorry, you again, Heat. Brooklyn. Let's cool that one down. All right, well. It's no. hotter in Phoenix. Right. Sorry, Heat. That's right, sizzling. Your name's the Heat, and you're not even the hottest exactly. city in the league. We Get are out. the global warming team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was it really worth it? Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. Yeah. There we go. Well, <laughs> I said it. It's out there. You did. All right, so our Sanderson Ford poll question is up now at ArizonaSports.com, and it asks... Are you more excited or nervous for NBA free agency to begin? Well, Your choices now. are excited, nervous, both, neither, and I'm just going to add another one, KD. Yeah, I was going to say, is Kevin Durant KD. an option? Can I just click KD? Okay. I, I, instead, I clicked excited. So, that's, excited's not even at the top of the list. That better change in the next eight seconds. Yeah. I, I, I don't have access to the poll or else. Well, Maloney's going to give us the results okay. here in a second. All right, cool. So 38% say neither. 38% also um, would probably be 0% when the news just dropped. But then 33% say nervous, 15% say both, 15% say excited. I'm interested to see how that will change now with this news. And in addition, Jordan Schultz, he's kind of like an insider. He tweeted out that a quote from Kevin Durant on the Bill Simmons podcast in 2018 saying, quote, we called Devin Booker. We wanted Devin Booker in OKC. I wanted him, unquote. That's the one I heard. 
that, that was that four Booker years ago. Booker wants yeah. you, KD. That was that's the one I believe that I heard. I think Kevin Durant did a couple episodes with Bill Simmons back then. Yeah, and uh, yeah. And yeah. Dambo just tweeted. Just told the Suns are now shifting their focus to Kevin Durant. They don't want to gut the whole team to get him, but that discussion is now the main priority. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> Gotta be. Sorry, be. Uh, sorry we didn't get you your um, qualifying offer, Aaron Holiday. We have uh, something else we have to focus on right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Mm-hmm. You'll you, be fine. You will, but on a different team. As yeah, it turns out. just won't be here. Yeah. Hey, if you put if you put your house on uh, for sale, call seventy two soul. See, this is the thing. <laughs> Every player I'm looking at, and I'm like, you might be on the way out. Hold on, hold on. Do you know Kevin Durant? Do you have a good relationship? Because if yeah. so, you're coming back, and we're signing you. You yeah, can just exactly. you can, Aaron Holiday. You can be the show me your cell bench. phone contact yeah. list right now. Type the words K and D, and what comes yeah. up. If, if the first name Better that comes be like up, Carlos Douglas, the, okay? <laughs> hey. Carlos Dansby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a good KD. Uh, that's true. Yeah, Los. Lo, hey, listen. Los we had dirty. Some, we had we had some epic battles at at Auburn and Florida. Yep. So yeah. Well, right now he's the top KD I can think of in town, but that might change in like the next. That that, that should yeah. change. Sorry. I want it to change. Yeah. I'm going to will it to change. Okay. God, Two Tony, KDs. Tony in Jefferson one time. is a genius. Remember Tony Jefferson tweeted that out like three weeks ago, the picture of Kevin Durant in the Suns uniform. Yeah. It's he all. said, "Hearing rumblings." Yeah. No, I'll never question Tony Jefferson again. But we had it here first. We did. We did, we did. We 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 broke it. We, we was posturing. We broke it. We Maloney and I have been trying to will this into existence since mid like late May, right? It was yeah. it wasn't even this month and Wolf Wolf <laughs> Wolf refused to talk about it. Wolf when he comes back, if Kevin Durant's on this roster when Wolf comes back, oh, it's going to get ugly. He's going to he's going to be extra extra feisty. Yeah. Um the other thing though, okay. other big news. <laughs> DeAndre Ayton. Oh, yeah. That's big. Forgot about DA. So NBA free agency <laughs> does start at 3 o'clock today, <laughs> and we may finally get answers on the future of DeAndre Ayton. Here's ESPN's Brian Winhorse from yesterday. They believe that they can find a number of other centers who can give them the type of production that DeAndre Ayton can. So I would look for them to look for either some free agent centers or maybe a free agent center or a center they can get in a trade back that may not be quite on Ayton's level but could still give them the production and defend the front of the rim. They saw what Bismack Biombo and JaVale McGee gave them last season when, when Aiden was out. They believe they can get a productive season from a center. They just don't want to pay max level dollars for it. So I think the Suns are still going to be in great shape. And I think they could still make some noise in this offseason. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> don't care. I heard him talking and, and none of the words were going in well, my center, Who cares? Yeah. I mean, but at this point, it's like if KD's on the roster, you're going to have guys clamoring to want to play with him on this Suns mm-hmm. team that will probably take – a little bit lesser if you know your championship window has now greatly increased. We talked about it shrinking yesterday. Well, today it's wide open. I mean, with this news, it's funny because Maloney just played that clip, and all I could think was, okay, so do they really need to win Kevin Durant over, or it's really just now can you offer more than Miami? Because Durant already said he wants to come here. Well, I, yeah, and that's the thing, and and what Miami can offer, we already heard is is dim because you can't you can't use out of bio. So thank you, thank you, Ben Simmons. Thank you, Ben Simmons. He, the gift that keeps on giving to other people because he won't do it for his own team. No, I'm sure they're looking at him like, wait. So we traded for you. Now Durant wants out. We can't even get Bam from Miami because of you. Mm, okay.